Hello everyone, I'm a piece of Christ to all of you. I apologize for being late a little bit. Uh, we have people outside working in the landscape, making noise. And it uh, looks like it's going to take long before they finish, so let us finish this. Today our topic is very important, and this is a challenge for all the sisters of Aaron in Indonesia, Ustaz. You know, I call them sister of Aaron because obviously they are sisters. And none of them have the courage to answer us, to call us, to debate us, big mouth, they speak too much, they say nothing. And today I appointed a name which is supposedly famous in Indonesia. His name is Abdul Samud or Somad. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name correctly. Maybe this man, he will be brave and he will stand up for a Christian prince. Like the Arab Muslim, they tried and they brought nothing but a joke and we love at what they say. In the front of us, we have a chapter 19 in the Quran, verse number 28. In this chapter, the Quran mentioned that Mary, the mother of Jesus, she become the mother of Jesus after she is confirmed to be the sister of Aaron. And who is Aaron? Aaron is, according to Islam, the brother of Moses. Here the Muslims, they will be able to answer this very easy. They will say to you, well, the Prophet uh, Muhammad, he said, that this is the sister of Aaron, but not his blood sister. How Muhammad he answered this? I'm trying just to find a fatwa so the Muslims, you know, so we can read what the Muslim says. Uh, let us see. Just to show you the, the madness of this cult and the stupidity of this cult. Give me a second. All right. You see, I don't want to because I don't want to show you something Muslim don't accept. So we have to show you something from Islamic source to confirm things for you before we speak about them. Who is Musa's, first of all? Musa's in Islam. What his name? Who is his father? If we find out, we are going to demolish everything Muslims will say. Mary, the sister of Aaron, I just found an Islamic website, which is very good. And we will show it to you on the screen in a second. So Mary, the sister of Musa, the sister of Aaron, when they asked Muhammad about that, a person whose name, Ka'b al-Ahbar, he came to Muhammad. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic, which we cannot find in English book, which means in the English book, they took all those texts 
This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Many of you know the website already, quran.ksu.educationsa. After Muhammad, he recited the verse that, O oh Mary, the sister of Aaron, many around Muhammad, who they are Jews, remember Muhammad, he lived for a while between the Jews, and this is where he got his madness from. He got it wrong. Not because the Jews taught him wrong in this case, no, but because he heard the Jews saying that Aaron, he have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So Muhammad, he come with this. Maryam, the sister of Aaron. In the book of Ibn Kathir, which is in the front of us, you will see that even Muslims, uh, they thought that this is really what Muhammad meant. Actually, if we go down, we will find that a man, his name is Kaab, he came to Aisha and he said to her that this is a mistake, this is wrong, this is, cannot be true. This is, cannot be Aaron, the brother of Moses, because how Mary she would be the brother, the sister of Aaron. And we find that actually translated by Muslims in Jami al Turmudi and this hadith is Sahih as you see. Let us zoom in so you can see the number correctly and you can take reference. Here we find the story how it happened. Translated by Muslims, written by Muslims, preserved by Muslims, published by Muslims, not by Christian prince. Uh, the Messenger of Allah sent to me to Najran. They said to me, do you people recite our sister of Aaron? The Christian at the time of Muhammad, they were laughing at Muhammad saying, do you, do you Muslims recite, O sister of Aaron? While between Moses and Isa, there is such a gap as there is, which means there's hundreds and hundreds of years. The Muslim Muhammadan, as you see, he do not know how to respond to them. He says, I do not know how to respond to them. So when I returned to the Prophet, I told him about that, and he said, why you didn't tell them? that they were named after their prophets and righteous people before them. If we go with Muhammad propaganda and funny answer, that's mean Mary, she should not be called by Aaron because Moses is a greater prophet. Abraham is a greater prophet. So why Aaron? In Islam, Moses is the greatest prophet and there's a greater than him. His name is Abraham. So if they want to name Mary by a righteous person, they will not name her by Aaron. And especially Aaron is not from the same tribe of Mary. Now, in Ibn Kathir, the story go way more stupid. When the man Kabul Ahbar he came to Muhammad, he found Aisha at home. He said to her, When Allah he says, O sister of Aaron, this is cannot be Aaron, the brother of Moses. Aisha she said to him, You lied. Kadabt. Qal, he said, Ya Umm al Mu'mineen, O mother of believers. If the Prophet he said so, he knew better, but as I know, there is more than 600 years between them, which means between Mary and Aaron. And then Aisha, she went silent. Which means Muhammad confirmed now that he never said to Aisha or in front of Aisha or in front of the Muslims, Ever that when he meant by Mary the mother of Jesus, the sister of Aaron, is what he claimed in the hadith here. Because as you see, the Muslim he do not know what to answer, which means this has never been brought up before. So Muhammad all this time he never said that oh sister of Aaron, sister of of Aaron, is uh, not really his sister from birth, until they got him busted and they said to him, are you an idiot? Now, 
until now Muslim can solve this problem they can say well we stick with the answer of Muhammad and we will say that the Prophet he gave a perfect answer and he really did not mean that Mary she is the sister of Aaron okay hold on now we have another problem Muhammad did not make one poo, -poo. Muhammad he made tons of poo, poo in this story what is the name of Mary father anyone remember anyone remember what is the name of Mary father in Islam who knows who is a Muslim want to help us the name of Mary father can be found in the Quran in chapter 3 actually the whole chapter is called Al Imran the whole chapter and why it's called Al Imran because this is a story about the people of Imran the children of Imran as you see all right and what we find in chapter 3 who he's talking about the family of Imran all right now in the uh, 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 in the Quran when the Quran speak about Mary as we see here what Muhammad he considered Mary she is the daughter of who let me see if this guy finished working outside so I can see I closed the blind just to I don't think he can finish I cannot even see my keyboard uh, what Muhammad he called what is the name Muhammad he called or he used to speak about Mary father Muslims who is here is a Muslim who is here Abdul Samud what is the name of the father of Mary please any Muslim We find that in chapter 3, verse number 35, as long as Muslim would not answer. Behold, the women of Amron said, O oh my Lord, I do dictate unto thee that is in my womb for the special service. So accept this for of me. Okay. And then what he what she gave birth to she gave birth to a lady a female her name is Mary as you see when she delivered she said Lord behold I am delivered of a female child and Allah knows best what she brought forth and no wise is the female like the, the male like the female I have named her Mary so now we have confirmation that Mary is the daughter of Amran. Question Muslims. What is the name of the father of Moses according to the Quran? Any Muslim knew? What is the name of the father of Moses in the Quran? In Islam. The Muslim will say to you, well, in the Quran doesn't say, no, hold on, hold on. You see here, the chapter was called al Amran because this is the family of Amran. This is the family of Amran. Who is the family of Amran? Include who? If you go to chapter 3, verse number 33, just two verses before, you will see that Allah, he chose. Adam and Noah and the family of Imran. 
Do you see it? So Muhammad here confirmed that from the Jews, the family of Amran are chosen. As you see here, he jumped from Abraham to Imran. Do you see it? Was Musa from the family of Amran? In the same chapter, we will find Muhammad saying the following in verse number 84. Say we believe in Allah and what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob and the tribes given Moses and Isa and the prophet from their Lord. Moses and Isa. Why Muhammad? He mentioned Moses and Isa one after one. Why even those names in the chapter of Amran? We find the answer if we do little search in Islamic website because we don't want Muslim to say we are making things up. If we try to find what the Muslim believe about who is the father of Musa's according to Islam, the surprise will come that the father, his name is Amran. Alislam.org, a very Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. I don't claim to own it. I am not the one who made it. What the Muslims they say about Moses? All here is to tell you about the account of Moses. All of this. Who is Moses? Nothing there except about Moses' story. Let us see what they say about Moses. Give me a second. Read with me, please, and try not to laugh. Moses was the son of Amran, the son of Yashur, the son of Fahid, the son, the son, the son. However, who is Amran? He is the father of Moses. Is that confirmed now? In chapter 3, verse number 33, the Muslim confirm, as I said, that the descendants of Amran are above all nations. Do you see it? The scholars of Islam confirm that even Harun, which means Aaron in English, is the son of Amran. That's wonderful. And Musa is the brother of Aaron and that make him for sure the son of Amran too which is already mentioned and this is the agreement of the Muslims and read with me carefully Muhammad he said Muhammad he said I ask Allah I ask the archangel Jibreel read with me carefully please who is that he said is your brother Musa ibn Imran, the son of Imran. 
Anyone notice what I'm going to say to you next? Mary is the daughter of Amran. Moses is the son of Amran. Aaron is the son of the, the son of Amran. Mary is the sister of Aaron. <laughs> so when Muhammad get busted by the Christians and they say to him, how in the world you say that Mary she is the sister of Aaron? He thought he fixed it. He said, Ah, let me see what he will say now. This is this is garbage now. What I did. This is I this is a big poo-poo. Oh, 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 they used to call them by their great uh, righteous people. That doesn't make sense. Because first, Mary, she is not from the tribe of Aaron. Number two, in Islam, Musa is a greater more than Aaron. This is why in the Quran, we don't find the holy chapter speaking about Musa, Aaron. Or miracle of Aaron, we speak, we, we find him about Moses. The one who Allah spoke to him is Moses, not Aaron, in Islam. So why in the world they will name her by Aaron? The answer can be found in the Old Testament. In the book of Number, chapter 26, Verse number 59. And the name of Amram, wife's wife was Jacob, and the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bare to Levi in Egypt. And she bare to him Amram, Aaron, Moses, and Maryam, their sister. <laughs> so the stupid Muhammad, he learned from the Jews that Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Maryam. And this is exactly, by the way, how the name of Maryam written in the Quran. You see, in the Quran, there's no Mary. It is Maryam. Maryam exactly as the name of the sister of Moses and the sister of Aaron. And look here, Muhammad, he misquoted the name wrong again. It is not the Amran, it is Amram. Amram first is not the father of Mary. A Muslim saying this is a different man. Hold on, this is stupid of you, my friend. If you go in the, old, in the New Testament, you will find that Mary, her, her father is not Amran. Who is Amran? It's obvious. You see, if this can be true, okay, maybe Mary, her father, is Amran. Then we'll say, okay, the daughter of Amran, uh, you know, they have the same name. No. Mary, she don't have a father. His name is Amran. Mary in the Bible, you know, as the Bible shows us, Joseph, as an example, the husband of Mary, which he was engaged, but he considered as a husband, he was called the son of Haley. Why? Because he is his son-in-law. What does that mean? That this is was the father of Mary. So when you, Muhammadan, make Umram the father of Moses, the father of Mary, and then you say that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, you confirm that your prophet is nothing but the biggest fraud in history. The mistake here is not one. The whole family is mistaken. Muhammad, he took the name of Amran. He switched it. He gave it to Mary. So count with me how many people Muhammad he did. Amran become the father of Mary. Aaron become the brother of Mary.
Jesus become the nephew of Moses. How this man can be called the prophet? It doesn't matter really how, how, how much you want to lie to yourself. It doesn't matter how much you want to lie to yourself. It is a clear like the sun. Mary, her mother, is not Amram. That is a mistake, number one, in the Quran. Number two, Amram, in the Quran, confirm that he is the father of this family. This is why the Holy Chapter is speaking about Amram. Number three, Aaron is the brother of Mary. Number four, Jesus became the nephew of Moses and Aaron. How this is can be from God? How this is a person, especially he claimed that Jibreel told me. Who told him? Jibreel. What Jibreel told you, Muhammad? Tell us more. I asked the archangel, who is that? He said, this is your brother, Musa ibn Imran. Do you see it? Uh, Hasina, you know, all the 107 lies your friend, he said, I have, yet he don't dare to call me because he's a potato. Can't he call me and quote one of them? We, we got him busted. He is a liar like your prophet. Look at your prophet, uh, 100 lies. Here we go, it's in front of you. Only 107 lies I made about Muhammad. So I'm all those years, I'm getting him busted. And only 107 lies, that's mean I'm very truthful then. Because if 107 lies is my lies, that's mean I am nothing compared to your prophet. So look at the Muslims. They are brave in their channels, but they don't dare to call me. They claim to be to have knowledge and they speak Arabic, but yet the potatoes, none of them dare to call me because they are potatoes. And what they do? They make a video and they start blinking with their eye. Christian Prince. Habibi. Habibi. <laughs> it's in front of you. The mistake cannot be accepted because this is not Muhammad saying that this is Allah the one who's saying Sabir he tried to to respond to me I will see if he did that that would be wonderful if he did so we can get him busted do you see how we clear the mistake okay my friend I get it I get it we will check his video okay we will check his video and we will laugh I promise you, I will make a video for him and it will make him shish kebab. Actually, I, I I make those videos right now. I'm trying to make this Abdul Samud, whatever his name, to get the courage and respond to me. I want the Muslim to respond to me. And then when they respond, they make us die laughing. Like the guy we have yesterday, what his name? Insan. He brought us a book of a bunch of atheists saying that Muhammad is a fraud saying that Jesus is not a prophet, Jesus was a crucified, which means the Quran is Muhammad is a liar, saying that Jesus did not make a miracle in the name of God, he was doing healing by uh, physiology. Saying everything against Islam, and the coward, just because he want to try to prove a point, he take a book of atheists against Jesus, which is proving Quran to be false. This is how stupid they are. And now look, how we clear we can make it more than this. Musa is the son of Amran.
Miriam is the daughter of Omron. Aaron is the brother of Miriam. If you try to fix the first one, how you can fix the second one? How how Mary she became the daughter of Amron? While this is the exact name mentioned in the Old Testament. And don't tell me that the Jews they changed their names just to get your prophet busted. Those books are written for thousands of years, my friend. Before your prophet, the false prophet was to exist. The Edith Muhammad, he lived between the Jews in the city of Yathrib and later he, he killed them all and he changed the name of the city and he called it City, which is very funny. Stupidity is a clear and Muhammad got busted. Any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim have an objection? And you see, Muhammad, he cannot say, you cannot say now that Muhammad, he made a mistake and he's a human like everybody. We make mistakes, I agree. But Muhammad, he said, I asked Jibreel. I ask Jibreel. The answer did not come from Muhammad. The answer is coming from Allah. The Quran, which is saying that Mary is the daughter of Amran, this is not supposed to be from Muhammad. This is from Allah. So we have to consider carefully that if this is a mistake, and it is obviously a mistake, stupid mistake, this is a mistake of Allah, Aka Muhammad, because Muhammad claimed that everything he said is from Allah. The Quran, according to Muslim, is not Muhammad talking. And as long as not Muhammad talking, then a human error is not exist. Because the one is talking supposedly is Allah. So the Quran in chapter of Ali Amran confirm many mistakes in one place. First, making all Mary and Jesus and Aaron and Moses, all of those are children of Imran, is a stupid mistake of the author of the Quran. And this is why the Quran, this chapter called Al Imran. Speaking about Mary, this is why this whole chapter is speaking about what? Jesus, Moses, Mary. Why they are here in the chapter of Ali Amran? Because simply, Mary, she is the daughter of Amran. According to the Quran, did Allah make a mistake? It's obvious. Where we can find who is, I mean, why the Christian even want to change the name of the father of Mary? You tell me. Even this one we changed.
uh, the one who keeps saying see the answer of Fifi we okay we got it I will put it for you in the screen I will put Fifi for you in the screen and we will die laughing your Fifi he said uh, the introduction of a Christian friends <laughs> I will share my beard I will uh, apologize I will say that he is a donkey I'm not a donkey if he can show me where this is, can be found in Fathul Bari did he make a challenge? I can he cannot find what I said in my book. It exists in Fatih al Bari. And then we made a video and we showed it is in Fatih al Bari. Your Fifi is a donkey. Like your prophet. Face it. He made a challenge that if I can show him this is from Fatih al Bari, which is in my introduction, he will wear a poo-poo. He will wear a diaper. Did he wear the diaper? He was very sure. You see how much knowledge he have, and not only that. I want to say thank you to our brother who gave me the attention for this. <laughs> Supposedly they are they are doing gang against me. The brother. You remind me of Osama Abdullah who made a video to prove me wrong. He says the prophet was so clean, and even he cleaned himself from lies. I mean, do you see how clean he is? He's so clean. And even he cleaned himself from lies. Hmm? I'm, I'm really convinced now that your prophet is so clean. I mean, you just say that he's so clean. He cleaned himself from lies. A bunch of kids. One question for all those who claim they can refute me. Mimi Hijab, he said he can debate a Christian prince. What happened? We wait for him. The second I call, he starts playing videos. Did you see this? Hang up. Hang up on him. Hang up on him. And he called me. He called me bastard. He was terrified to talk to me. He would not. You have 30 seconds to answer. 30 seconds. You said that Paul is in the Bible, in the, in the Quran. You have 30, in, in, the, in the Tafsir, you have 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then he hang up on me. And I showed it to them. And I got them busted. Even I did not have the 30 seconds. And the funny, they complain that I hang up on Muslim. I hang up on Muslim who they are kids. Look at the Muslims they call me. One, he say, I don't believe in the Quran. The other one, he says to me, Muhammad, the Hadith is a lie. The other one, he says to me, I don't believe in interpretation. He make his own interpretation. There's no Muslim left. Where is the Muslim? And the proof is in the front of you. Muhammad himself wasn't a Muslim. A Muslim is someone who follow Islam. Muhammad never follow Islam. Muhammad said, have four wives, he have 13. Muhammad, he says, you cannot have sex with your wife when she have period. Muhammad was funding his wife when she have her period. Muhammad, he says, you don't look at the Muslim women. Haram, haram. But he was looking at Muslim women when they walk in the street. He got horny. And not only that, he went to his own son. And he flirted with the wife when she is married to his own son. Married, not divorced. And all of this written in your books. If you have a sexual relationship with the women without witnesses that she became your wife, you will be stoned. Muhammad have sex and he have Zainab without witnesses. She said to him, where is your witnesses? He said, Allah and Jibreel. So tomorrow I'm going to call a hooker and I will say to her, come and sleep with me. She says, shame on you. Shouldn't you marry me first? And my name is, 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 is Aisha. I say, oh, no need. Allah and Jibreel are my witnesses. You are my wife now. So Muhammad wasn't a Muslim. Muhammad is a fraud. He claimed that he have religion, but he don't have religion. He is above the religion. In your books, Muhammad, he have more than 16 a privilege. More than nine of them is about his penis. May Allah bless his penis. How this is, can be a prophet of God? With my respect to his penis, which was not working, obviously. And the hadith says that Muhammad said, not me, I was the most weak person between all mankind. And then I invoke my God, Allah. And then Allah, he sent me a dish. It's called Al-Kufayt. 
I ate it and after I ate it I get the power of 40 men so who is the one who confirmed that he was the lowest between mankind in boom boom Muhammad himself and how Allah he solved his problem he sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it and he got the power of 40 men how he measure it don't tell me how and because Muslim they will say his line let me get the reference so the Abdul will not say we are lying brother it doesn't say that CP let us see if it says or not Oh boy. Oh boy. I found the website, but it's taking time to open. You see, always we show Islamic website because if we show our own, they will say uh, not true. And it doesn't say that, CP. You know, it doesn't say that. Hello? All right, let us see. Uh, this is a very long page. Let us see the other one. Hold on. All right. This is your Muslim website, and this is the book of At Tabaqatul Kubra, Ibn Sa'd, volume number eight. The title of the section. The mention of what the Prophet of Allah was given in the power of boom, boom. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? Speaking about the power of the boom, boom of their Prophet. Now, maybe Christian Prince is lying. Maybe it doesn't say that, CP. So let us use Google Translation. Shall we? Brother, shall we? Hold on. We would do that. Give me a second. I will open it in different browser too, so we can keep it in Arabic before, uh, uh, so we don't lose it after translation. Because sometimes the page doesn't go back to Arabic. If you click translate, that's it, stuck. So I will do in the front of you automatic translation by Prophet Google, peace upon him. And by the way, Google is a Muslim. Translate to English. The, he mentioned the power of the intercourse given to the messenger of God. The power of what? What? The Muslim did not talk about the power of healing of Muhammad. The power of intelligence. They speak about the power of the Prophet penis. While the Quran is speaking about Jesus resurrecting people from death, making the blind see, healing the leper, creating from the mother bird, telling you what you hide in your houses, Muslims are proud about the balls and the testicles of their Prophet. A brother and sister, Prophet Muhammad is very sweet with them. And the proof of that, that Allah, he gave and treat, treat him pity. Uh, uh, Zach and Nike, I have a question. Christian friend, first of all, don't talk to me. I hate you. I, I, I know you hate me, but still, I can let me uh, let me talk. First of all, I'm not going to talk to you because you are dirty. Why I'm dirty? You always talk about the penis of the Prophet Muhammad, but you must talk about his penis too. It's different. 
We Muslims are proud about his penis. What's your business? Okay, this is what I'm saying. You are proud about his penis. What his penis did? He have sex with all those women. He could not even make them have a child. This is not true. Muhammad has four daughters. Hold on. Even the Shia agree that only one of them there is his daughter, and even even that one actually she is not his. Those are the daughters of the previous husband of Khadija. First of all, did not prove that. Secondly, Prophet Muhammad mentioned in the Hadith in the book of the Tafakat Kubra, volume number eight, Hadith number under the page number one and ninety two. It said that Allah He gave the power of the Prophet for his penis. Okay, can you read for us what it says there? It is mentioned. That from the creation of the Prophet of the Haba, that the Prophet said, I was the lowest, the last person between all mankind in intercourse. What, 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 what? He was the last person between all mankind and in intercourse? Exactly. Okay, but how Muhammad, he noticed that he, have the, he is the lowest between all mankind in boom, boom. It's very simple. How? It's not working. What do you mean it's not working? It's not working. I, I did not get that. I need some interpretation, please. Christian Prince, we have ladies are listening. We cannot explain it. So are you saying like your private private part will not stand up even if we play the anthem? Exactly. And thank you for the simple explanation. So Muhammad, brothers and sisters, his private part is not working. And then he invoked Allah. Read carefully. Ah, Zach and Nag, sorry. You better read it for it. No, you go ahead. No, you read it. No, you go ahead. Come on, Zachary. You read it. Your English is better than mine. And especially now we need to water the grass outside. It's getting dry. And because of your spitting when you talk, that will be a blessing, my friend. Just go ahead. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. And thank you for agreeing that you are stupid and your English is funny. I said, I said I want the most lit people in intercourse until I invoke Allah. And then Allah, he sent me down a death, it's called Al-Kufayt. And then I ate it, and then I get the power of 40 men of Boom Boom. So, Zakir, your prophet, he was the lowest man between mankind in Boom Boom. And then he asked Allah to send him a dish. And this dish is called Al-Kufayt. Uh, he sent it to him with who? Prince and Prince, obviously you are blind and you are stupid. It says in the hadith that Jibreel, he brought it to me. Jibreel. Ah. So now we understand that Jibreel not only delivered Quran, he delivered deliver pizza. Exactly. Okay, but uh, here we have a question. Now, as long Jibreel and as you see, it says like in an hour, like any time he wished to have sex, Allah, he will send him the dish. Hmm? Right away, within an hour, I will find the dish in front of me. And then I get the power of 40 men. So why Allah did not solve the problem of a prophet Muhammad by saying, be strong penis? Why he need to send a, a dish? There is a problem here. Because the prophet penis was not working at all. And there is a defect. So Allah, he could not say me and it was fixed because it was very horrible. Uh, is that a size issue? Christian Prince, please respect yourself. First of all, the prophet said is very, very good. Uh, that, why did you see it? I, I did not see it. So how you know? It said in the hadith that I actually said, who of you have testicle and peanut like the prophet? Where it says that? Oh, great me so you idiot. Zakir, are you there? Shut up! I'm trying to find it. I thought you, you know, you memorize it. And look how the Muslim translate the Hadith. It says, "Woman, Who of you have testicles and, and 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 he can control his testicle and his penis like the Prophet? Read the Hadith." Read the hadith. Allah Messenger, peace be upon him. He used to kiss me while observing fasting. Mm, 
not a decent fasting man. In different hadith, he used to suck her tongue. French case. And he is fasting. And then people, they were wondering, but isn't that this not true, not right? She said to them, and who of you control his penis like him? And here the question is, how Aisha she knew that Muhammad is the best to control his penis unless she knew other men? Are you getting my point? If Aisha she never slept with different men, how she knew that nobody can do so the same as he do? Expert. Experty talk. I mean, you cannot hide your experty. Going back to Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik. So Allah, he sent a dish of shish kebab to Prophet Muhammad. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. How the Prophet was able to mention or to count how many horsepower he have that it is 40. Do you have any explanation? First of all, if the Prophet said 40, it means 40. If he said 39, it's 39. If he said 60, it's 60. Okay, this is not the question, man. The question is how he knew it's 40. Let me repeat for you. If the Prophet said 39, it's 39. If he said 40, it's 40. It's 50, it's 50. And that's it. Like, hold on a second. Like, this is not the question, man. We got it. If he said 39, it's 39. If he said 40, it's 40. If he said 50, it's 50. If he said 60, it's 60. If he said 100, 100. We got that. But how he knew he got the power of 40 men? Please, friends, let me explain to you. If the Prophet said 39, 39, it's 39. If it's 40, it's 40. If it's 50, it's 50. Zach and Nick, what's wrong with you, man? Are you trying to drive me crazy? This is not my question. We got that. How the Prophet was able to make the number come accurately. How he find out it is 40 horses of boom, boom power he have. Great and breath. All that you are stupid and you are a fool. I'm going to answer you. If the Prophet, he said 39, it's 39. If the Prophet said 40, it's 40. If the Prophet said 50, it's 50. It's very simple. What do to myself? What's wrong with you, man? Why you cannot give me the answer? How Muhammad, he knew that. Did they make a race? Like he brought a bunch of men and they start doing boom, boom. And then Muhammad, he discovered that he is, and the Muslim, they were counting like number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. How many men, how many, how many women each man can do? And then Muhammad, he reached and he stopped at the number 40. Is that what happens? I can make. First of all, we Muslims are very conservative. You are very what? Conservative. And we are not going to do such a thing. Hey, hold on, what's that I? What do you mean conservative? Isn't your prophet he ordered Muslim women to give their boobs to anyone walking by if you want to meet her? Exactly. So is that conservative teaching? This is very conservative. And that will eliminate for coordination. Will eliminate what? For coordination. So by ordering a woman to give her boobs to a strange man, that will eliminate for fornication? Exactly. How is that? I will explain to you. And you will keep it. Yeah. Okay. When the Prophet, he ordered women to give their boobs, that will make it like brother and sister. Is that clear? So if I go to visit you, you are going to ask your, your wife to give me her boobs and that will make her my sister? Exactly. But I'm not going to let her do it with you because you are an evil. Oh, okay. Uh, like who you want to allow it? To Fifi or Mimi Hijab? Or uh, Abdul Samad? Who is going? Who's, who's allowed to suck on your wife's boobs? Every Muslim. Alhamdulillah. I don't know if your wife, she is good looking or not. If there's anyone outside your door right now, is that her name? Nobody outside my door. Okay, I get the answer. No, she is not good looking. Thank you. Okay, Zach and Naik, thank you very much for telling me how wise your prophet, the prophet who ordered men and women to suckle the boobs 10 times.
I appreciate that. Clifton Prince, never call me again. If you call me again, I will report you to the CIA. To who? CIA. You work for the CIA now? I don't work for them. So how you know their number and you will call them for me? And why they will help you against me? Because I have connection. You have connection? You have connection with the CIA? Okay. Well, I'm scared now. Let us see how the CIA can help you. Thank you, Zakir Naik. Any Muslim? How I can suckle him and he is a growing man? What? How I can suckle him and he is a growing man? Like what? Very, very beautiful lesson. I'm thinking to convert to Islam. I did not suckle for a long time since I was a baby. Oof. That's not fair. I don't even remember when I was a baby. There's no even picture of me there suckling. And now the Prophet of Allah, he feel, he feel for us, we men. He knew what we need. So he made a verse in the Quran, verses in the Quran, speaking that Allah, he ordered men to suckle from women. How many times? Ten times. Actually, the Hadith says that the suckling verses were in the Quran and a goat ate them. Who ate them? A goat. The verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. I'm looking under my pillow now, there's nothing. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and the tam sheep came and ate it. What? Are you serious? The Quran, the holy preserved Quran of Allah, by it was eaten by a goat. I just called Zakir Naik. I don't want to call him again. Zakir, Christian Prince, I did anger for you. You are greedy. But do you have any like uh, any information about that goat who ate the Quran? Do you know anything about her? Anything that can you can share with us? Maybe we can help you, Muslims, to find it. Actually, I can do that. I appreciate that if you can help us, because you're Christian, you have a spy everywhere. First of all, we have her picture. And this is the picture of the goat. And she was eating the Quran, and there is no way she can hide. Because we know her name, we know her details, and we know her color, and we know everything about her. So please, if you find this picture anywhere, call us immediately. In Pakistan, in Bangladesh, the Mujahideen, by Allah will, they will find her. And we will extract the verse of the Quran from her stomach. Okay. You want to take it from her stomach? Do you think the verses until now they are there? Allah will preserve the verse. I assure you. I assure you, he could not digest the Quran. Yeah, nobody can digest the Quran. Are you kidding me? I believe you. I mean, this is the most stupid book ever. Nobody can digest it. Listen, Prince, stop insulting. The Quran is very clear. Okay. How many times I ask you to explain verses? You said Allah knows best. Because simply nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. Very simple. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, Zach and I. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Hussein Abdul Rahman. This is a kid. This is the Nigerian boy, I assure you. 
We will not let him talk. This guy is just a, an, an insulting person. He don't believe in Islam anyway. He's just a kid. Anyway, we will open our Skype. Maybe we can get a real Muslim. If it's him, we will hang up on him. He's a kid. We don't want to lower our program for this level. Let us see. Let us open Skype. And Muhammadans are welcome. All right. If you are a Muhammadan and you think you can answer us, please feel free and call me. I will be happy to take you. All right. <clears throat> you don't know me? Okay, Hussein, call me. No problem, Hussein. My friend, uh, call me as long as I don't know you. Uh, missed call from Hamdi. Uh, okay, Hamdi is trying to call us. Hello? Thank you. Yes, Mr. Hello? Hamdi. Yes, sir, Mr. Hamdi, how are you? Why do you fake about Sabir? Who? Why do you fake about Sabir? Ahmed. I fake about Sabir? Yes. What, uh, why, what I fake? You got busted. Huh? You got busted. Hmm. How I fake? Why don't you watch Fareed's channel, man? You got busted. How I got busted? Explain to us. Two different voices. Confirmed. Two different voices? But this is the person who was speaking to me, you idiot. <laughs> Just watch. Please watch. Please watch Fareed's channel. Yeah, we will watch. We will watch. We will watch and we will laugh. The question is, why this coward don't dare to call me for real if this is not him? I asked the guy, are you are you Sabil Ali? He said no, but his voice looked like him. That's all. The video is there. And I asked your coward Sabil why he don't dare, as long he is willing to answer me, and he is saying the guy who was calling Sabil is not me. Why he don't call me? Here we go, my Skype is open. The same as you call me, he can call me. And everybody will laugh at Sabil the coward. Now, by the way, did Sabil answer me? I will check his video so we can laugh. What he said, this is not me? So what? The voice of the person like him. I said, are you Sabil? He said, no, I do not believe him. And now you confirm that Sabil is a coward. Because if he is not, he will call. He will say, this is not me. I can do better. Did he call us? No. My Skype is open. Sabil Babil, if you are, if you are a man, call me. If you are a man, call me. But the coward, you will not dare. So you get me busted by saying, this is not me, I love. Right? If it's you or not, that will not change anything. Your brother in Islam, he got busted. And instead of saying, it's not me, what about answering me and calling me? Right? This is not me. It's not me. I'm not Sabir who called him. This is a different person. Custom Prince is lying. I did not call. I know you did not call. I know. I know. They told me later. This is not his voice. Maybe his, his voice is closed. But the, the video is already there. We thought it's you. But I was hoping it's you. But it's not. Fix it. Fix it and call me your potato. So you are willing to invite the Christians to debate you and you invite a Christian who do not know much about Islam and you set him up and you put a camera, you coward. And I made a video and I did get you busted. What is your response? No response. Your response is a Christian prince. He said, it's me, it's not me. That's it? That's the best you have? Well, guess what? Jibreel came to Muhammad and he gave him satanic verses and then later he found Muhammad that this was not Jibreel. That was Shaitan. His name is al Abiyad. So Jibreel was not Jibreel. It was Shaitan. How you respond to that? Isa, he came to Isa and Isa was in the cross but it was not Isa but Isa was, was saved by Allah and Allah that ruled Isa, he took him to heaven but that fake Isa was on the ground and then Allah, he made two Isa so now we have the fake Isa and the real Isa and Allah was so confused which Isa he took to heaven because both of them, they look the same so Isa was not Isa because Allah cloned Isa now which one Isa he was, was about, you know Isa is not Isa, Sabir is not Sabir, Jibreel is not Jibreel 
the colonial religion I clone you how come Allah can clone a person he called me he have his voice speak like you and I ask him life on here are you Sabir he denied I believe he is if it's not you prove me wrong call me call me and give me your answers <clears throat> the religion of a cloning and here we go the goat ate the quran and now we are looking for the goat the same as we are looking for sabir is sabir is around is he around no he will never dare to call you see all of them they watch my videos do you see what yesterday this guy his name is insan who claimed to be a, 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 a like ustad in indonesia did you know what he said? He said, we watch Christian Prince video. He was here. But I opened Skype for him to call me. Why did not call? Coward. It's a bill. It's a bill. I know. Get you busted. It's a bill. It's a good thing. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Please feel free. Send me a text. I will call you back. Who cares if it's you or not? We thought it's you. I thought it's a fart. It turned to be soft one. In the Middle East, we say, we thought it is a poo, poo It turned to be diarrhea. Oh, sorry. We thought it's a fart. It turned to be a diarrhea. So this is what you have now. Christian Prince, he said it's me, but it's not me. That's the best you can do. Okay. All what I all the horrible thing okay you remind me of somebody he got a son his son called him daddy the daddy said it's not me I hope it's not your case prove that you are a man and call me you coward and answer the videos I made there for you getting you busted I will check his video later so we can have fun. I will not miss this opportunity, by the way. Uh, each time Muslims, especially those who claim to be a big shot, they make videos about me, it's a victory for us because their answers will be funny, stupid, no answer. They don't know what to do. They are terrified. And my Skype is open and they don't dare to call. Be my witness. Where is Mimi Hijab? Where is Fifi, his sister? Habibi, where is, uh, what his name, uh, Idawa, where is uh, uh, Shawawa, where is Adnan Rashid, the potato, do you dare, do you, you dare, you don't, my Skype is open, I don't know who's calling, I have no idea who's going to call me next, you don't, I will watch for his response video. Just wait. I promise you today we will go live again and we will make just a video about Sabil. It's going to be in a Christian Prince account. My other account. Kabich. And I will post here a link. So we will die laughing about his response. I did not see his response yet, but for sure we will die laughing. Promise. Your God, Allah cannot respond to me. You're a prophet in his grave. His bones are fried by me. Actually, according to historians, they find a sign or a marks in the bum of your God, Allah, of five fingers. Until now, they could not recognize it as who? It's my hand. And I can prove it. It's the same exact size of my hand. And you can check my fingerprint. Now, who of you dare to call me? Instead of making a video respond, what about we make a live debate? You go live in your account, I go live in my account, Sabi, the coward. Do he dare? He will not. People, Muslim Christians, do you think Sabi will dare to accept my offer to have a live debate? You see, if I hang up on you, it's mean I lost. If you hang up on me, it's mean you lost. So the one who hang up on the other person is a betay to promise. 
Fair? Do you dare? Let me repeat. If I hang up on you, Sabil, it's mean I'm running away from you. If you hang up on me, it's mean you are running away from me and you lost. And because we want to make it like so nobody says he ran, etc., we will make it only limited time. Three hours of oven fry. 1000 centigrade heat. Do you dare? I will never, ever, ever hang up on you. Do you dare? Not only that, I will call you Mr. Sabil. Mr. Sabil? What do you want more? Not only that, I will call you Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sabil. Allah pray on him and salute him, Sabil. What do you want more? Not only that, I will say, peace be upon you, Sabil. What I can do more? Just call me. Shall I play for you the song, Call Me Baby? Man, oh man. They are brave rabbits. Brave rabbit, they are really intimidated. The only one who called me is this Nigerian boy who believe in his own religion. It's called Islam. The rest are not exist. This is the only Muslim left. He don't believe in the Hadith. He believe the Hadith is a lie. Interpretation is a lie. Ibn Kathir is a liar. al kurtubi is a liar. And he is the only one understand the Quran, brother. This is the only one he knew Islam. He have his own version of Islam. Any Muhammadan? Hmm? Anyway, for those who will download the video, you do not need to keep the whole video long because it's too long. Just cut the part when we expose Muhammad speaking about... Uh, uh, Mary being the mother of Isa, the sister of Aaron, the daughter of Amran. That is the part where it is enough to expose Muhammad and prove him to be a false person. Uh, I think uh, Ultimate Fart is trying to call me. This is the only one who called. What I can do? I, I will call him. <coughs> Well, I know there's somebody trying to call. I'm calling back. He's not answering. Hello? CP. Yes, sir. Why do you keep lying? Why like, do you keep uh, deceiving? Uh, like what? Remember 2017 for Reed? What? You lied about that as well. I lied about what? You lied about what? 2017 for Reed. To, to, to what? Younger for Reed, remember? You debated him. You said that. Ah, oh, I said that too. You lied that as well. Yes, my friend, right. my friend, uh, I don't know. They told me this is the voice of Farid. Farid, he said it's not his voice. All of you, you Muslims, have the same. All of you Muslims, all of all of you Muslims, all of you, all of you, all of you Muslims have the same sound when you but, fall. What I can do? You're a liar. Your fans will find out. Okay, no problem. You, you see, you, you just said I'm a liar. So why Farid don't call? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Question, question for you. Why Farid don't call me? Why Farid don't call me? Why Farid don't call me? Why he why don't he call me? Free? What do you mean? Why he don't call me? How can we trust the man who keeps lying about people? Okay, don't you want to? You stupid! Aren't you trying? Guy. Aren't you trying to get me busted now by calling me you idiot? So why you are calling me? So you you you, you, you are going to how you wanna how you potato potato? This is not excuse. This is not an excuse. This, this is not an excuse. You claim that I am a liar. You have you have to prove it. You have to call me and confirm how I lied. Can he do? Can he do that? Can he do that? Who? The video proving that you lied. About and he showed his own voice. They see you and proved it. 
Okay, okay, this is not his voice. But people they say this is his voice. Two but may, may, voices. maybe his li- may, maybe maybe his line, maybe his line, maybe people they call me the, people they call me. Hold on, 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 hold on. Is it hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, potato, potato, hold on. Your brother he said that there's a guy, his guy there's a guy, his name is Afzal, something like this. He converted to Islam life. Hold on, hold on. He converted in Islam in my from Islam to Christianity in my channel, and the he said, "Listen, you're fifi." He said, "There is a person. He called me, and he left Islam life in my channel." Uh, okay, guys, it's two different verses, maybe, but it is very for me. It is Farid until he proved the opposite. He didn't even call me. For me, for me, it is Farid. For me, listen, potato. For me, it is, it is very, it is very, it is very, it is very. And then he proved the opposite. You changed the video's name you because people they say it because people they say this is not him. Why? Why don't you stand for, for what you believe? Is because true? some why people because some the people video? said some people they said this is him. You, you, you know you lied, bro. <laughs> Stupid son of Mutan. So this is what you have now. I said this is Farid, but not Farid. Eh, people, they told me it's Farid. Later, they told me it doesn't sound. Maybe it's not Farid. Eh. You Muslims, you change your names when you call me. All of you. Because you don't dare to say who you are. And in the video of Sabir, I said, are you Sabir? You will hear it. I said, are you Sabir? Because his voice, he speaks like Sabir. Same accent, same voice. The same for Fifi. Actually, it's not me who named him. He said, this is Fifi. I found the video. Somebody posting saying, this is Fifi. And he confirmed it's Fifi. So I said, okay, maybe it's Fifi. Let us post it there. He said, it's not him. But still, he's Fifi. Because if he's not a Fifi, he will call me. So the point is, Christian Prince is desperate to find Fifi to call him. But Fifi don't dare. This is what you are saying to me. Christian Prince, he is looking for Fifi. Any Fifi. And all of you are Fifi. Because if you are not Fifi, you will call me. And now you call me. Did you call to prove me wrong about anything I said? No. Oh, what you have? That this is not Fifi? Okay, not Fifi. You must them posting pictures of me. Is that me, you liars? Which one is a Christian Prince? Why you are posting pictures of a person you never met? Cowards! Hey, the Christian Prince, a picture of a Christian Prince. Have you ever met me? Have you ever seen me? How you know this is me? Fifi! All of you are Fifi. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Anyone? Anyone? Any half? Okay, we stopped here about the Prophet. The goat ate the, the Quran, which was under his pillow. But maybe many of you do not understand what happened here. Guys, imagine this. The story in front of us, as Aisha, she said, not me. She said that the paper was with me under my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied. I want Fifi and I want Cece to answer this if they dare. All right? Listen carefully. My friend Salman is not calling. Here we go. My Skype is open, as you see. He is not calling. What he's trying to call? Where is he? Send me a text, my friend Salman. The guy who called himself Salman, I don't see. You see, my, my Skype is open. He's not calling. You will hear it. So the paper was under my pillow when the messenger of Allah died. Okay, let us imagine the story. Because we need to explain to you what happened. This is the bed of Muhammad. Aka the bed of Aisha.
Muhammad is in the top of the bed. For sure he's in the top of the bed. Are you kidding me? I mean, what do you want to sleep under the bed? Because scared of Aisha or something? No. So the Prophet was here. Underneath of him, there is a pillow. Under the pillow, there is the Quran. This is the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, he's dead now. The smell is bad, as the Hadith says. Do you know that the Hadith says that the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days until he stink? And I can show the reference, and I change the Muslim to say it's a lie. It doesn't say that, CP. Huh? Until his fingers became, his nails became a green. So Muhammad died, and they have him on the bed for three days, and the Quran is under his pillow. Now, a very, very fishy, evil goat came to the room of a prophet Muhammad. Very, very aggressive goat. The goat, she jumped in the top of the prophet. Meh, meh. But the prophet is dead. The goat flipped the prophet in order to get the Quran from under the pillow because remember his head in the top of the pillow so now the Prophet is in the floor is gone from here the Prophet now is in the floor The goat now move forward toward the pillow to accomplish the mission which he sent to do by the Jews. The pillow now, the goat is here. She flipped the pillow and she start eating the holy preserved Quran of Allah which nobody can destroy save the goat. The goat, after she ate the Quran, she start feeling pain in her stomach. Because the Quran, nobody can digest, as Zakir Naik said. Nobody can understand, nobody can swallow, it's a stupid book. But the goat, she have to do this mission. Why? Because the goat speak about breastfeeding. And the goat, she felt a threaten of her business because this is what the goat she do for living. She live because she give nipples and suckling. So she said to herself, uh, 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 Muhammad is trying to take our business and the business of my ancestor and give it to those women. I'm not going to let that happen. So she decided to eat the verses of 10 time breastfeeding for adult and that is the real purpose behind eating the Quran by the good and for sure this is explained by the drawing beautiful drawing of our brother this, the, the, the artist uh, Picasso and by the way Picasso became, became a Muslim in case you do not know you know because simply, why they call him Picasso? His name, real name is Bika, and then he saw the light of Allah, so they call him Picasso. So he saw Allah light. As long as we are talking about Allah light, in case you do not know, that according to Muhammad, when his mother, she was giving birth, this is the mother of Muhammad. This is her stomach. Because Muhammad was in the stomach, by the way. 
and this is her legs when she was giving birth according to the prophet a light very powerful light came from her private part and this light was so shiny this is a bulb light you know there's a like an LED light something very very powerful to the point this light went all the way to the palaces in Damascus and I challenged the Muslim to say this is not a true this is Damascus in Syria so the light brother went all the way more than a thousand mile away from the vagina of Muhammad mother may Allah bless her vagina all the way to the palaces of Damascus this is Islam this is Islam I challenge Sabir Ali to say I'm lying Fifi, I'm like, they will say, this is the Eve Hadith. The one who reported this Hadith, brother, and they blink with their eyes like, you know, Habibi. What Habibi? You Muslims, are you saying you Muslims, your books is full of lies about your prophet? You Muslim fabricate lies about any Hadith look embarrassing? They will say we didn't agree with it. Do we have any Muslim in the call? No Muslim zero. Zero. You know what zero mean? Literally zero. This is what you have for me. Sabil, he said he is not Sabil. That's it. Refuted me now. Sabil, not Sabil, Fifi, not Fifi. Muhammad not Muhammad, Isa not Isa, Allah not Allah, Jibreel not Jibreel, Aisha not Aisha, and all is Fisa. Fisa in Arabic means fart. This is your refutation for me. Sabil is not Sabil and Fifi is not Fifi. I will sing it for you. You can make it an anthem for you. They got me busted, man. Sabil is not Sabil. Fifi not Fifi. Mimi is Mumu and Dudu is Didi. And that's it. Now Christian Prince does not exist. Uh, uh, Fifi Hijab, Mimi Hijab, when he supposedly wanted to debate me, he played the video of his sister saying, Sakal, uh, did you say to her, Sakal me? Did you say to her, Sakal me? And then the second I say to him, I was quoting your filthy prophet. He is the one who said, suckle me, you idiot. He hang up on me. Coward. And the filthy, he edited the video. It was his sister who was speaking dirty. She is the one who said that Jesus, he did this and this to his mother. Coward. zero color look how look how i love my sky this is what fear do 1.2 billion abdul half of them they are kuffar the other half are infidels and the rest of them they are listening to music and allah will make them pigs and monkeys as he say in the hadith you know what this hadith i really like it i will tell you why Islamic teaching is full of knowledge and one of the teaching of Islam teach us that monkeys are Muslims and they practice Sharia Allah read to me brother this is Sahih al-Bukhari during the pre-Islamic period of ignorance ignorance supposedly the Muslim before before Islam they were ignorant the Arab they were ignorant Islam make you aware I saw and who is speaking here is a Muslim a decent Muslim he's important to the point 
His name, his his narration is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari. I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. I too stoned it with them. Isn't it? This is astonishing. I too. So now what we learn from this? Monkeys are Muslims. And they are practicing Sharia ah law. Do you see it, brother? So why Muhammad threatened you Muslims to make you monkeys? And why he made the Jews monkeys if monkeys are Muslims anyway? Do the monkeys have a book? It's called the monkey book. Hello? Hello? Yes. CP? Yes. I dare you. Uh -huh. I dare you to react to Fareed's latest video. Uh, I dare you to let him call me, Potato. Don't don't I name don't name a person. Just just shut up. Just shut up. Just go. You see, you are like a person who have no balls saying, Let me I will show you the balls of my friend Fifi. This Fifi is a is a I don't want to say what he is. Obviously he's the man. He keep calling me Habibi, blink with his eyes, something fishy with him. So I dare you to make this bobo call me. I dare you. Do you dare? I dare you. Hey, my friend, I don't dare. I don't dare. I'm scared of you Muslims waiting for Fifi to call me. Do you see how I am? I don't dare. How come this person and this person and this person, they make videos about me, but nobody dare to call me. And you are the one who call me, says, watch their video. What's about you? Why you don't answer me? Hmm? You don't have testicles? You lost your testicles when you're playing golf? Or your mother of law, she smashed them because you did not wash the dishes? Potato. As simple as that. Fee, 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 fee. Fee, 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 I like you. Muhammad, he, he too like you. When you blink your beautiful eyes and you call me Habibi, you fee 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 really like you. You are so beautiful. You are so you. <laughs> I never saw a person who, when I prove to us Islam is wrong, he blink with his eyes. You, what, why you blink? You are a man. What does that mean? What is your official business? What do you do for a living? Huh? What is blinking is about? Is that a nature in your family? Who is the one who do the business of a plinking when he talk and he's a man? You tell me. Brother. Now. Until now, no Muslim call. I dare you. I dare you to answer this. I dare you to answer that. I am here. I'm answering. I answer Muhammad. I don't answer Abdul. Who are you? You are no one. Bunch of potatoes. Bunch of potatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. 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 Do we have any brave Muslim who would like to call us live on air, especially if you claim to be a scholar, not a kid like those? You see, your kids, Muslims, they keep saying to me, refute this guy, refute this guy. I don't refute you, I refute your prophet. Here we go. The one I spank is only Muhammad. The rest are accessories. We focus in the head of the snake. This is your religion. Call and answer. Anyone? For me, all those poor Muslims, I understand your pain. It's okay. It's okay. It hurt. I understand. But still, you cannot call me. And everybody will ask himself a very simple question. Those who claim that they can refute a Christian prince, what they will lose if they call him? And I promise them, all those famous ones, I will never hang up on you. If I hang up on you, you register it, I lost.
those who they are claiming to be big names and by the way none of them is big and they are a potato stupid i mean this guy he do not know that the hadith i am quoting or the statement in my introduction for my book is exist in fath al-bari to the point he made a challenge i swear by allah this guy is lying we cannot find it is al-bari and then second day they sent me the video i made a video about it is there Did he keep his promise? Do I agree that he's a donkey? If he, if I can't find, he made a challenge for me. Did he? They have no knowledge. Big mouth. Told him. Somebody told him we cannot find it. So he took it. The same as the guy who was yesterday quoting for me a book. Kids, all of you are a bunch of kids, and your God Allah is defeated, and Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. Yesterday, the day before, they sent me a, 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 a Muslim, a friend of Farid, saying, I am a, a, an ex-Muslim and I want to pretend that I left Islam. You see the coward? You see the trashy? He didn't notice that this religion never made them better people. If he is sent by Farid or not, why in the world somebody want to pretend to be? unless he is the fruit of Islam and Muhammad he pretend and we can prove it and he told the Muslim to pretend and to practice taqiyya they are allowed to pretend your friend to be your friend they are, are allowed to pretend that they are peaceful discovered who live in England wherever he is he took an oath using the infidel oath he is allowed to pretend when you take your passport, Mimi Hijab, did you take an oath? Legion to the Queen? You did. How you do that? You are a Muslim. Because you are allowed to pretend. For you are a Muslim. All your religion is about pretending. Hmm. my friend light of the world don't you see what i'm doing what i'm doing right now i drank my coffee in the morning i start my uh, my uh, uh, broadcast right away and now we have 1100 157 people listening not include their wives especially if they are muslim let us say we have now uh, 500 muslims are listening just to give you the calculation brother if there is 500 abdul listening and each one of them have four wives. That means we have 2,000 Muslim listening, brother. And if each one of them, he have 10 kids, that means we have 20,000 Muslim listening, brother. And if we say uh, they are friends with them, brother, you can multiply the number and you will see how big the number, brother. Now, where is the Abdul who will refute me? And by the way, I encourage all the Muslims to make videos to refute me. I dare you. This is how we get Muslims leave Islam. The more they talk about me, the more people will come and hear the truth. This is why my videos in Indonesia is like a fire. You know what fire? Literally. You will see a video just posted a few months ago. It has a million of you, which means at least one of every 300 Indonesian knew about the Christian press. Just by one video I'm talking about. The biggest Islamic country, they have nothing to talk about except the Christian press and Christian press making Indonesian leave Islam like crazy. Like never before. And what you can do about it nothing and then when you get me somebody to refute me supposedly from islamic organization we die laughing at them and yesterday was the great example how many of you did not watch it yet did you watch that last two by the way did he make a new videos this guy did he make a new video i don't think he will make a video after what happened yesterday i think he lost his job 
<laughs> you know, because if you think about it, let me open his page and see if he make any new videos. <laughs> Let us see. Because I'm sure now Florida. the Muslims are really upset from this idiot. No, that's it. He did not make any new videos. They fired him. He's fired. Where is episode number two, three, four, five? Where? What happened? They fire you after yesterday? Obviously, they did fire him. This is episode number two, answering CP. Nothing more. The Muslim they noticed that they got a donkey. I don't know if this guy is going to talk about me or not, but I don't think he's there. <laughs> It's one time deal. This is why they refuse to debate me because they will lose their career. This poor guy did not even debate me. He just made a video. Nineteen October, call UCP. If his name is nineteen October. I'm afraid from the miracle number 19, brother. Corona 19. Do you know that the Muslims, they say that Corona is in the Quran? <laughs> the funny that Muhammad, he said that he don't believe that a disease can be transmitted from a person to a person. And when they told him about separating the camels because one of them is sick, he said, if... Uh, if this is what happened, that disease transformed from a camel to a camel, who is the one infected the first camel? <laughs> Unbelievable. Genius. Genius, Muhammad. Hmm. Very genius. My Skype is open. Silence. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Silence. Nothing. All I see, Christians texting me. One saying to me, oh my God, you are funny, I love you. The other one say to me, oh Christian prince, don't stop. The other one says to me, uh, I was reading Surah. Okay. Uh, I am a Christian, can I call you? Hey, no, my friend, we want Muslims to call us. Only, only Muslims. You see, we, we will make time for Christians to call. Right. <sighs> Left video. For many Christians leave a Christ after read this Bible verse. Hey, okay. So after we read this Bible verse, we leave a Christ. <laughs> ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm one of them. Uh, <clears throat> any Muhammadan? The funny, if we read the Bible, we will, read, we, will, we will leave a Christianity. If they are saying that, that means the Quran is a fraud. Because the Quran is asking us to follow the Bible. You see how stupid this Quran is? How the Quran, not only confirming the Bible, but he's asking the Christian to follow the Bible. If we don't have a Bible to follow, and our Bible is corrupt. So then how we will follow the Bible? Stupidity. This is the statement of the funny Muhammad. Chapter 5, verse number 68. All people of the book. Who is people of the book? The Christian and the Jews. We will go back here because this is a disaster too. You have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the law of the gospel. The law and the gospel. 
Okay, Muslims, do you have the law and the gospel? Who is the Muslim have the law and the gospel? I want to stand by the gospel. That's mean we have the gospel. That's mean the Quran confirmed that we have it. Otherwise, it's silly, stupid to say to us, you need to follow the gospel. Secondly, look at the stupid Muhammad. He keep calling us Aka Allah. He keep calling us people of the book. So you stupid. How we are not following the book and you call us people of the book? People, are you listening? How we are called people of the book and yet we are not following the book. It's like calling Sam Shamoon the guy with the hair. But he don't have hair. Do you see how stupid this book is? By calling us the people of the book, you confirmed that we are the people of the book and there is no other but us. No one in Islam is called people of the book, not even Muslims. The second you say people of the book, the Muslim, they understand right away this is about the Christians and, Jew, and the Jews inclusive. You just admitted that we are the truth. We are the one who have the book. You don't. And if we don't have a book and you say we are the people of the book, that means you are a certified donkey. If you do not know how certified donkey look like, I can find you something to understand. people of the book so we are people of the book but we don't have book brother don't you think that this is too much knowledge brother brother how we are people of the book and yet we don't have a book brother prophet muhammad big mouth you talk too much, you say nothing, except the stupidity. This one look better, present the story way better than the first one. And he is more convincing, to be honest with you. And sound like, by the way, he's like, he has something to say. So we are people of the book, but we don't have the book, but we are asked to read the book and read the book and we follow the book, but we don't have the books, yet we are calling the book of a book, but we don't have the book. That's amazing. Thank you, donkey. Nice meeting you. The guy with the phone, he don't have a phone. The guy with the hair, he don't have a hair. The guy with the car, he don't have a car. And until now, they call us people of the book. But by calling us people of the book, you just confirmed that we are the true people of the book. You don't get the name. To those who are, they are not following the book, you idiot. Correct, guys? If somebody is not following a book, you don't call him a person of the book because simply he don't follow the book. It's a stupid statement. It's a donkey statement. Madness.
Will my book will be available in Italian language? If somebody help translate to Italian, I will be happy to see that happening. We have right now in French, Portuguese, uh, Spanish. Uh, actually, we have Russian, but we would not publish it. Uh, we have uh, uh, Polish. We do not publish it yet. Uh, we have uh, Albanian. Uh, my books will be in all all languages. Just wait. And I will be happy to see people translating my book, actually. Quran and Islam is a silly religion, stupid religion. Very silly. And here, here we go. You know what? I will, I, my Skype is open. I will change the topic. Who is a Muslim willing to call me and show me one thing can be proven to be true in Islam? One thing. Forget about everything I said. You choose anything to prove to me that Islam is from God. Anything. It's your choice. You give me the question about Islam you want me to ask you. How, how easy you can. Imagine you go to the exam and the teacher, he says to you, you choose the question, ask yourself the question and you answer it. Uh, Piola, anyone would like to translate, text me in Skype, contact me in Skype, we can talk. All right. Any Muslim? Give me one thing can confirm that Muhammad is a prophet. You know, when we say somebody is a prophet, that means he prophesied, correct? Who want to tell me about Muhammad prophecies? Muslims, they have tons of videos about prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. You see, when Muslims, Inna inkara aswat sawt al hamir. Okay, well, you want me to talk about this? Okay, I see. Thank you. Just to show you one of the stupid things in the Quran. I mean, pff. I mean, pff. garbage, stupidity. Allah is teaching us wisdom. What? Wisdom. And what is the wisdom of Allah? Allah speak about one of his favorite men who teach wisdom. Be moderate in the peace and lower the voice for the harshest sound without doubt is the bearing of the ass. What is behind this wisdom? The harsh voice, the loud voice, is the voice of a donkey. So why you do a then? And you put them in a speaker. When the Quran says that loud voice is the voice of a donkey. Oh, no screen, sorry. Here we go. Hmm? If the loud voice is not welcomed in Islam, so why all this shouting and takbir, Allahu Akbar, speakers, annoying people, 5 a.m. in the morning? When the Quran confirmed that those who make loud voices are donkeys. Any Muslim don't agree with Allah? Obviously you don't. And by the way, why Allah he hid the sound of a donkey? I mean, isn't it him who made the donkey have that voice? Look at the wisdom here. Mubahala, hmm. we will talk about maybe different program. You know, we have, we speak about many topics. I mean, all of them, they are, uh, you know, endless. 
But as you see, Islam is a stupid cult, and Muslims, here we go, they are silent. They make videos saying we can refute Christian prince, but nobody refute me. I'm here, I'm waiting, my Skype is open. I see only Christian text me, speak about this, speak about that. Don't tell me, please. Don't, don't text me in, in Skype to tell me, you know, I want Muslims to call me. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone? Are we out of Muslims? Muslims, you are people of the book, in case you do not know. Let me remind you. And you are the people of no book. Let me remind you. And even the Quran said to Muhammad, you're funny, Muhammad, by the way. It's very, very funny. When the, when the, uh, Muhammad, he have a doubt about himself being a prophet. He don't believe he's a prophet. Imagine the prophet don't believe he's a prophet. So Allah, he said to him, if you have a doubt about you and what we send to you, go to the Christians. Go to the Jews. Do you see it? So, we did not confirm Muhammad to be a prophet, and this is against your belief. The Quran order you in order to confirm if Muhammad, to Muhammad, not to you only, Muhammad himself, he been ordered to come to us and ask us. And Muhammad, he came to us, and we get him busted. All right. Muslims are fasting. Yeah, now they are watching porn. They are not eating. Any Muhammadan? All right. How many of you did not subscribe to our channel yet? Don't forget to subscribe and feel free to download my videos. We don't, I don't keep my videos in my channel. You will find them all over. Many people download my videos. You can add subtitles to your language. Uh, the point of what we do <coughs> is not about me, just you know, getting more numbers because my videos is all over, actually. If I want to calculate how many subscribers I have, I have millions because whoever post my videos, people subscribe to them, which means at the end of the day, they are my subscribers. So at the end of the day, it's not about my subscribers and yours. It's about sharing the truth, and the truth will set you free. Let us, let us add subtitles in many languages, in your language, so they will not deceive your children, your family, your country. This religion is very evil. And they destroy with whatever it is evil religion goes destroy bring nothing but destruction if you don't believe me go and see what Islam did to the Middle East go see no human right no freedom no dignity corruption is the way of life because of Islam but in the same time all of them they pray five times a day. All of them they praise Allah. All of them they wear white clothes in Friday. But all of them they practice nothing but corruption. The most hypocrite cult in the world. They speak too much of God. They do everything you can imagine in the book of the devil under the table. And sometimes, actually, even in the top of the table. As an example, practicing muta, as Muhammad said, this is devilish. 
having sexual relationship with the children. This is, but this is legal now because of Muhammad. So Muhammad, he made what is filthy legal. Yeah, I'm still working in my books, my friend, but uh, my time is really limited. I have to stop here coming for some time so I can do that. So maybe I'm thinking in some time, maybe next year, I will take a vacation for like a month so I can finish the translation or maybe more, the translation of the Quran. I might need more left, more than a month. Um, you see, because writing need, need really a focus time. And uh, coming here is not easy too, because you know shouting, fighting, and uh, and remember here, you see I don't I don't prepare to any topic usually like I just make it go you know and you can ask me now I question the topic is ready for me which means I do not need really to prepare, and that make it not easy you see most of people who uh, make videos they prepare the verses they do not know you know they have no idea what they are talking about they go search the internet they put them in front of the screen and they make themselves that they are knowledgeable this is why they are afraid of a real debate because a real debate people they will find out how much you know you don't have time you know what i mean especially if you do not know even the topic like you know you see uh shabir ali want to debate david wood two months from now so now the debaters, what would do? Regardless, the Muslim or the Christian. Shabir Ali will go and search uh, whatever things about the topic. He put it in the front of him. He memorize it or he prepare it. And now he want to go to debate and he recite what he memorized before he prepared two months. A real debate, my friend, is not a prepared debate. It is something happening in the moment and you are not even ready. Why somebody claim to be a scholar, he need to be ready. You know what I mean? Either you are not a scholar, you are just internet collector, or you are a scholar and have knowledge. A person who have knowledge, his knowledge goes with him. And this is why I'm saying right now, who is a Muslim who wanna call me? He open any topic about Islam, I'm ready. Don't tell me what the topic, I do not surprise me. They don't dare. Because they are not ready, I am. Even if they have, even if they prepare all their animation in their hand, they are still short of it. The Muslim, they made article saying, if you debate a Christian prince, don't say to him yes, don't say to him no, because he will trap you, either if you say yes or if you say no. So how they can debate me? Have you ever heard of a debate? A Muslim should not say to a Christian prince yes or no. Because if he say yes, he will get busted. If he say no, he will get busted. So it doesn't matter where you go. The article saying he will trap you. If he say to you the prophet was a good man, don't say yes. Even this one, don't say yes. Don't say yes, because there is something behind it. Ask him, what do you mean? Which means no answer. What are, what do you mean? What are you trying to say, Abdul? Is your prophet was a good person or not? What is the purpose of this question? What are you trying to say? He would not say yes or no because they are afraid. You need translation for the video. I, Robert, I don't have a translation really. We have just short translations for like 15 minutes. And actually, this is why, you know, ABN, they were they were trying to get me, uh, Muslims, to debate me. I don't know how many of you knows about ABN TV. But I, me myself, I stopped going in their station. Uh, let us see. But anyway, nobody want to debate me. They want to debate uh, David Wood. They want to debate, uh, but not, not Christian Prince. Just keep us away from Christian Prince. Okay. Uh, and this is why Shabir Ali, he, he uh, you know, he agreed to debate me, actually. He agreed. And then the second, he noticed that this is a big mistake. This is a Christian prince. He sent them an email 
and you can ask him you can ask Zakir is Shabir Ali is that true he he sent he 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 answer he I'm busy with my PhD and they send me a copy of that email as I remember uh, when they brought me the head of the Muslim Shia in USA Hisham al Husseini this guy he thought well a Christian prince maybe he knew a lot but we are Shia we practice Taqiyya very well less than 15 minutes after the debate started this guy he started going crazy I'm trying to find the video hold on yeah they debate in Skype they don't mind but not with me trying to find the video <clears throat> you will see him at the end of the video moving like a chicken when they get me the guy from uh, here we go this is the debate uh, I'm trying to find the original channel Yeah, I cannot find the original ch channel really. Look like too many people download the video and now it's hard to find the original. But anyway, it, it does the job, it doesn't matter really. Uh, this is the video and this is Sheikh Hisham Al Husseini this person he was hired by the stupid George Bush to be a consultant for the White House you believe it and he have many interview in Fox News and Fox News tried to corner him to get him busted about him supporting the destru destruction of Israel and supporting Hezbollah terrorist group. They could not. In my debate, I was able to make him admit. All right. Let me see if I can open it. The guy was going nuts. The guy was really going really crazy. Let me put the speaker on. Sadly, it's in Arabic, so you guys, you don't have a benefit unless somebody translate and add subtitle. You know. الآن بأنكم سوف تقتلون اليهود وسوف تقتلون الإسرائيليين وسوف تنتصرون عليهم وسوف تطردونهم وفي بداية الحلقة قلت لنا أن الإسلام ينشر السلام فألم يعني أنت تناقض نفسك بنفسك وتكشف عن. Look at the shake how he's shaking his head. He's going crazy. التقية لن تنفعك. المسلمين الشيعة يمارسون التقية في كل شيء حتى في اللبن الذي يشربوه هما شعب تمرس في الكذب وعاش على الكذب ويموت على الكذب وهو يقول لك أنهم هم من يمدحون عائشة وهم يلعنون عائشة ليلة نهار وأبو بكر وعمر وعثمان ثم يقول لك رضي الله عنها The coward in the, in the, in the debate he was saying to me We Shia we respect Aisha, we respect Abu Bakr, we respect Omar I said you are a big fat liar you curse Aisha every day, you curse Omar every day, you curse Abu Bakr every day, and you Shia practice Taqiyya. It is, it is the milk you drink. Even when you drink milk, it is Taqiyya. And the guy was going crazy. Look at 
He was saying to him, you Muslims, you are the one who kill each other. They are the, you know, the Muslims are the one who killed the grandsons of Muhammad. The Muslims are the one who killed Uthman, the Caliphate. The Muslims are the one who killed uh, uh, Ali. The Muslims are the one who, they are the kill each other. But the second they start talking about what happened to them, they blame the Jews and the Christians. This is what I was saying to him. I was saying, he said in the Quran there's miracles. I said, okay, I have a challenge for you. Can you answer which one Allah created first, this or that? <laughs> oh boy. I was shooting, yeah. Because those uh, Christian TV, they take his side. They will not let me talk. You know, guys, before I go in, the TV, in this TV, that's why I stopped going there. The owner of the TV, he speak to me like for 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Depend. Please, Christian, please. Please be easy on them. Please, we want them to come back. And I cannot take it no more, man. I mean, what do you mean take it easy? I cannot. I'm, that's that's me. I cannot. I, that's it. The second he says something, I will be all over him. So he spent the first 15 minutes. Each time we go live, please, Christian, please. Please, please, please. We don't want you to like smash him, destroy him. We want him to come back. We need them. So can you please like do it, but so easy? And I say that I said to him, how I can do it easy? I don't, I don't have control of it. It's that's it. You know, the answer will come. What do you want me? Either I say things as it is, or no. Don't invite me then. And then because they keep doing this to me, I send them an email. I said, don't contact me again. I'm not going to go on your TV station no more. I'm done with you. Last time we have the, the representative of Rashad Khalifa, the coward, he ran away. Why you let him run away? They let him run away. Oh, boy. Send link for this video. But do you speak Arabic? Do you know Arabic? No problem. I will send you a link for the video. Oh, sorry. Antum tushahidun al aramiya. All right, sorry for the sound. We send you the link. We send you the link. That's it. It's not really. I mean, not a big deal, but uh, but it's a clear proof how even those who claim to be sheikh with long beard, big uh, a, a turban in their head, they are potatoes. If you watch at the end, the guy here he went really not. He was crying. <laughs> بعدين أنه أصلا هو الموضوع بأساسه ليس بعادل لأن نبينا محمد فتريدني أن أستسلم إلى إلى كفرك إلى حقدك إلى نقافك إلى نفاقك إلى صهيونيتك يا أخي ما هذه المزعطة ما هذه المهزلة والله إنه ظلم اللهم إشهد على كل حال أنا أدافع عن مبادئ عيسى ومبادئ موسى ومبادئ محمد لأن he, 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 he called, you see, anyone, he get them busted, you say, he is a, you are a Zionist. You are a Zionist. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm an Arab Zionist. Have you ever heard of an Arab Zionist? That's wonderful. That is something, brother. An Arab Zionist. Do you know even what Zionist mean, you idiot? كلها واحدة ولكن هنالك بعض التغييرات لأن البشرية كل خمسمائة سنة أو تحتاج إلى تغيير أن القاعدة المتشابه. Guys, a human being every five hundred years just this donkey. I mean, those those are donkeys. He just said a human being they need a change every five hundred years. Okay, since Muhammad he came. Did you have a new prophet every 500 years, you idiot? I mean, when they speak, because they lose their mind when they talk to me. In the beginning, this guy was so calm. 
if you hear him man Islam is so beautiful man anyone who speak Arabic you, you go watch it this guy in the beginning is not the same guy at the end yeah he's the head of the Shia in USA you know and the funny I wanted I wanted to show you the, the original video in the channel in the ABN TV because the Muslims they were saying that this guy is paid by a Christian Prince there's no way he's a Muslim all his answers was stupid the Muslim themselves I mean this guy is a head of Islamic Center in Michigan in Detroit he is the head of the Shia in USA he have tons of interview with a Fox News CNN he was a counselor for the White House and yet the Muslims accuse me that this guy is fake he's not real you believe it even this guy is fake everything is fake he said we don't call the Christian and the and the Jews kuffar just wait for my answer I, my answer I made him I fried him I fried him literally he just said we, we know we don't call kuffar those who follow Isa but we don't love those who don't follow Isa and we fight them you see that you see that you see the coward in the beginning of the video he says we Christians and Muslims we live together we are brothers and, and now he starts saying we want to kill the Christians and those who don't follow Jesus we fight the Christians the same as we fight the terrorist Muslims the terrorist Muslim because Muslim they accuse of each other to be a terrorist so Muslim Shia they want to kill the Sunni for them the Sunni they are terrorists and we will not stand actually if any of you have a connection with the Fox News etc contact them because Fox News they start tried their best to get him busted and this guy now because he's speaking Arabic he thought maybe nobody would try actually nobody translated yes he's, he's right but this is this person can be taken into into jail by what he said but sadly nobody you know nobody have connection of us with uh, with those big uh, stations so they can get him busted about what he said he said clearly we want to kill the Jews we want to kill the Christians Anyone is not following Isa no more. We want to kill him. We want to kill the Zionist. And this person right now still functioning and his mosque is open in Michigan. All right. Anyway. Uh, I think we have enough for now who want me to come back later actually I might come back guys what do you think come back later or come back tomorrow morning uh, so we can have fun with the uh, uh, Sabil video because Sabil made video or I make short video for him is not worth it I don't know what he made I did not see it yet but I'm sure it's going to be fun what do you think come back later at night maybe it's better to come back later at night so let us do this uh, just watch for me you know updating here if I have a life all right and then you will know if I'm coming at night I mostly I will come at night tonight all right and we will uh, we will get this uh, Sabil Sabil <laughs> they act as if they are people of knowledge but they cannot call me and the second they face me they cry like potatoes like this guy like this guy if you remember actually they asked him do you like to debate christian prince again he said no way there is there is two imam I don't know if you remember their videos. I don't know how many of you watch it. This is an old video uh, uh, from from the center of uh, from sorry from the state of Tennessee. 
from Tennessee. The head, the Islamic Center, the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee, and Imam Malik Sar versus a Christian prince. The radio host, he asked him, "Can we debate next week?" He said, "No." <laughs> We don't think so. <laughs> After they had my first, you know, the first debate with me. Let me see if I can find the video. It should be still in the internet. Here we go. Here we go. Just search for the title. Christian Prince versus Dr. Nabil Baikli and Imam Malik Sar, February 2009. Watch it and die. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. That's it. It's one time deal. And this actually, if, if we knew Christian Prince is coming, we would not be here. This is why they don't want to debate me. Their big ones not only been destroyed, they've been fried, literally. Just type, type again, my friend. It's easy. Type in you in, in YouTube. Christian Prince versus, versus Dr. Nabil Baikli. The, the screen in front of you. And Imam Malik Sar. All right. Somebody posting it again. Christian Prince debate. There's many people posting the same, you know. But this is like part one, part two. Maybe this one is the whole thing put together in two hours and uh, 29 minutes I will call him uh, uh, here we go how I can call him I don't mind to call Shabir Ali actually uh, they asked Shabir Ali about debating me uh, one of you who asked me to ask him the question let me see if I can find He said to him, I have one million dollar question for you. When you would be very Christian Prince. Shabir Ali, he gave him very stupid answer. Let me see if I can find the video. Maybe this one. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find. It was like he was in a in a like a debate or something, and uh, they asked him when you are going to debate a Christian prince. Yeah, here we go. I found it. Okay. You play in junior league, you pray. I, I don't want to say anything. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago asking if I have a debate. Liar. I, I never contact him. I never, never, never contact him. Big fat liar. Never all my life I contact him. Prince, thank you very much. The question was. Mic right there. Hello? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh, Shabir, when will you uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I uh, for those uh, of you who uh, don't uh, know uh, Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality uh, who's uh, been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago. I what a big fat liar. I want you to show an email from me to you. I never contacted you, you liar. Shame on you. Asking if I would debate him, and I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and then... Uh... He said yes. Did you see? He said yes. But it's not me. I did not contact him. This is ABN TV. And then he went and he bought my book. And I made a video about it. And then after he got my book, 
He told them, I am busy with my PhD. Since then, he is busy. Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I, uh, 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 for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he uh, uh, is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago asking if I would debate him and I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, and See, he even mentioned it here. Eventually I bought his book. He was preparing himself to debate me. That's why he bought my book. After he bought my book, he called him, he said no. And um, as, uh, then I, I don't want to say anything about him because he's not here, but, but uh, falling from the correspondence and the way things were going, uh, I, I felt that, you know, uh, people, uh, uh, as, as you play uh, ball, you play in certain leagues, uh, right? Uh, you uh, play in junior league, you play, uh, you know, you, you advance from uh, that uh, and so on. Uh -huh. I felt that we were not in the same league. Uh, we are, for um, sure. Uh, so maybe he's in a higher league than I am, uh -huh. uh, and God knows uh, mm. what is the truth of this. Mm. Uh, but I felt we were not in the same league, and I didn't proceed. Now, friend, let me tell you what happened. You are leaking. This is the whole story. You are leaking. Uh, 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 uh. You bought my book and you don't even dare to answer one thing in it. Uh, 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 uh. Listen, from the second they ask him about me, he's like, you know, uh, uh, this guy, he's, a he's, he's, he's not a fluent in speak no more. His speech is gone. What happened? What? And then we will hear my response for what he said. Mic right there. Hello? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh, Shabir, when will you uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago asking if I would debate him, and I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, and um, as, uh, then I, I don't want to say anything about him because he's not here. Ah, but how do you want to say those things to him if you don't contact him and debate him? I don't want to say anything about him because he's not here. Okay. We got you, we got you. Yeah. For sure we are not in the same league. Shabir Ali, he believed that Jesus... Uh, just to show you who Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, obviously he rejected Islam. Shabir Ali, he don't mind. He said he don't mind that if Jesus, he, to, to be considered, Jesus was crucified, but he did not die. He was on the cross, and that destroyed the Quran. This is your Shabir. This is your Shabir. Shabir Ali adopt the teaching of Rashad Khalifa, of the miracle number 19, and that means he's not a Muslim no more. This is Shabir. Shabir Ali, his daughter, she go wearing tons of makeup, which is against Islam, and he's a sheikh. Life with him in his program and in Islam, this is haram. And this is Shabir. I mean, if I want to mention to you how many things Shabir, he said it's against Islam, you will not believe it. So how long you are proud about Shabir, Mr. Kader? This is, this is your Shabir. And obviously he's afraid. All of you, look, I mean, did you ask yourself why all of them, they are making excuse? There's one he wanna go, he's willing to come all the way to America and debate me face to face. All of them want to debate me face to face. Shabir, he debate over Skype. All of them debate over Skype. You make videos on YouTube, what is different? As long as you are using YouTube, making videos to refute me, supposedly. What is different? We are in YouTube and you are in YouTube. He don't slander? All of Islam is a slander. Muslim, he recite the Quran five times a day, chapter of Al-Fatiha, saying, Allah, don't make us like the cursed Jews and not the lost Christians. This is slander. Your religion is based on slander. The Quran calls us pigs and monkeys, dirty and najis, filthy and kuffar, animals. 
And you are talking about slander. I don't slander. I read your book. The second I read your book, you say I am slandering. Muhammad Qadir, are you willing to call me right now and show me where I slander? Is that fair, guys? Muhammad Qadir, challenge between me, you, me and you, my friend, in the front of everybody. I want you to call me and tell me what is considered slander for you. Do you dare? You don't. Because I did not even use any of your prophet words. Your prophet, he says, if somebody proud about his inheritance, his parents or his family, tell him, tell him to go and bite the penis of your father. Did you hear me ever saying to you, go and bite the penis of your father? Huh? You are not learned? A second ago you were learned. A second ago you were teaching us about me. Now you don't learn. Is it true that the, that your caliphate, they say to a man, go and suck the clitoris of a lat? This is the disciples of Muhammad? Suck the clitoris? And you are talking about me complaining because I said donkey the Quran. The Quran, the Quran speak against us, says we are donkeys. You are ignorant. So if I use the language of the Quran, you claim that this is a slander. Hello? And now you are saying to me, you are not learned, which means you are, con you are confirming that you are a donkey. So now if I call you a donkey, you get upset. You want to debate me in Zoom? What is that Zoom? What is that? What Zoom? Zoom, 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 Zoom. Is that Zam Zam? Look what the Quran says about you. <clears throat> oh, supposedly it's about us, brother. So, the hypocrisy of the Muslims, they can use title for you, but you cannot use them back for them. Those are insult if you use it for them. If they use it for us, it's not insult. Chapter 62, verse number 5. What it says? Read it. This, the similarity of those who they are in charge in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the Torah, it's the same as those donkeys who carry books in the top of their back your god saying that we are donkeys carrying books in our back but the funny muhammad he don't even know how to read the torah he do not know even how to read the quran so who is the donkey because the donkey he cannot read the book he's carrying he is carrying a book correct but who is the one who is doing that muhammad Muhammad is the man who carry books, but yet he don't understand. He cannot read. So by Muhammad making such a statement, he confirmed that he is a stupid donkey. And he agree with that because the one who carry a book he cannot read is a donkey. And I can change for you any like any translation you want if you don't like this translation. No, why I want to use Zoom? We have a Skype. This is what people know how to call me. This is stupid of him. They are just trying to make excuse. Zoom. Zoom, 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 Zam, Zam. Why we don't use Zam, Zam instead of Zoom? <clears throat> don't, don't worry about me, guys. Don't worry. You know, let me tell you something. This is a true story, brother. Sayyid Bukhari. Once a mafia brother, Sayyid Bukhari, uh, Imam Bukhari reported that Christian prince once, he was kidnapped by a mafia. And they called his father and they asked him for one million dollar ransom. 
What is my father's response? This is a Bukhari. He said to them, I will give you one million dollar under one condition. They said what? They said you keep him. You don't bring him to us back again. Hmm. True story. Hmm. The mafia they thought <laughs> we will call his father and we will get a million dollar. My father he said hello. Please keep him. We will pay you. And then the mafia they have to release me. They could not take it no more. I keep saying I challenge you. I debate you. Who did better beat me, Abdul? And then they gave me money and said go. I said no, I'm not going. They said please go. I don't go. Please go. And I say I don't want to go. And they say please go. And then Allah he recite Quran said, let Christian prince go. Otherwise he is going to do the the the, the, the lulu, you know. And then uh, you know Allah he uh, sends Jibril. And like we, 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 and uh, like I jump, uh, uh, Allah, he cloned someone like me, and now I am here, but I am not here. Because Allah, he cloned uh, me, you know, because Allah, he wanted to save me. So now it's me, but it's not me. Because, you know, there is two me. This is why we call the guy, his name Mimi Hijab. We call him me, me. Why? Because there's two me, me. Every Muslim, there's two of them. There's the clone and the real one. Allah, he like cloning. This is his hobby. All right. I'm scared. I'm very scared. You see, this guy is so scared to the point he made tons of books about Muhammad. And he laughed at Muhammad 24 hours, seven days a week. Do you see how scared he is? mean no courage at all do you dare to debate Sheikh Kuz Kazu Lafour Lafour my friend I'm not only there to debate Sheikh Kazu I'm debate to debate him and his cousin too is his cousin coming with him or this is only Kazu? Guys, do you dare to debate say Kazu? Brother, I dare to debate say Kazu. The question is, do say Kazu dare to debate me, brother? If yes, why you don't call me? My Skype is open. And many of Muslims are the most funny people ever. You keep saying to me, do you dare, do you dare? I'm waiting. I'm talking for the last two hours, three hours, and my Skype is open, and not a single one of you dare to call me. And do you dare? 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 Yes, I dare. Yes, I dare. And you don't have underwear. Because I made you do poo poo before even you call me. Do you dare? Like, hello? And what his name, Zaku? What happened to him? Is that an accident or something? I hope he have insurance. What happened? How in the world he became Zaku? Oh. <clears throat> Guys, don't worry about it. I, I debate in Skype. I don't debate anything. And even my Skype, nobody can trace me with it. And I am untraceable. I'm like Allah. Okay, okay, Sophia. Okay, okay, Sophia. I will not, guys. That's it. That's it. All the, you see here, they are worrying about Christian. Don't worry about Christian prince. Brother, don't worry about me. Please laugh. You want to record my laugh? You have to pay for it. Hello? You want to what? You want to use my laugh as a ringtone? Hello? You cannot do that. First, you have to seek permission from Allah. It's haram. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, guys, uh, we will be live on air again um, in a few hours from now. Just give me a break just to rest a little bit. And uh, we will be back. 
I hope you guys are enjoying your time with us. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like to learn more about Islam, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon.com or Amazon your country, the event where you live. And uh, don't forget to download my videos. I don't keep them on my page. You can cut them off pieces to make it shorter topic, shorter, etc. Like today, we spoke about Mary, the mother of Jesus, how she became the sister of Aaron, and we prove with no mercy that Muhammad is a fraud. So uh, uh, download the video. You can cut the part when we speak about this issue, and you can pause it again to make it easier for you uh, to keep the topic in track. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. We will be back in a few hours. God is winning. And... Uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification and you can go actually to my page in patreon to check if i have coming broadcast next when it's going to be or in here in, in youtube in case you don't have because sometimes youtube doesn't give notification for some reason i don't know people complain and we have another channel it's called quality of life if you'd like to join us there but there we don't speak about islam there is a clean topic no garbage this is a place there is like a, our uh, uh, Christian cafe where we speak about good things, good quality. This is why we call it the quality of life. All right. So if you like to join us in that channel, feel free to subscribe there too, for we have a great topics we speak about. And it's like our conferred zone. We talk nothing about Islam and we take a, you know calls from the Christians in that channel. So again, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is absolutely a fraud and we prove it every day. Take care. See you soon, a few hours from now.